afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My, how the times change so quickly on you. You go through the tunnel and you head towards the light. <laughs> So, we're here for a new talk today, and it will begin shortly. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second age of reason. I don't know, some smells around here. It smells like death, actually. Kind of weird. But, anyway, I am here to find out a little something. When you wake up in the morning, do you spontaneously wake up at the right time every morning? Or do you use something to get you up on time? Something like an alarm clock. Or do you leave the windows open and listen for the birds? And the birds start singing. Was it 4.30, 5.30 in the morning? Does that wake you up? Maybe you live on a farm and the roosters or peacocks wake you up. What a, what a noise they make. And um, I've, tried the, I've tried the clock alarm thing, but you get used to the eh, eh, eh. And so then you say, well, that's not helping because that noise goes off and I don't wake up. Put it too close to you, you hit the snooze button. And then you've got five more minutes and it starts again. And then you can't stop this, the thing from going off because you, you may have put the snooze button into some kind of cycle. Well, me, I use the, the alarm, but I put it on conservative talk radio. Nothing like that to wake you up in the morning. Listening to the hissing and vitriol those of you that are Harry Potter fans might recognize it as parcel tongue. Hissing and vitriol and vinegar and all that. And usually I just ignore it and eventually turn it off once I've had enough and I'm awake. But one day I caught my ear. Caught my ear good. Because I started hearing lies and misinformation to a heretofore unseen degree. They were talking about oh, those Libbies. Liberals. Oh, they were so anti-war back when Bush was president. But now, where is Code Pink? Now, where is Cindy Sheehan? They've got their boy in the office and Everything is just fine. Who cares how many wars we're in? Who cares how they shred the Constitution? And I heard that, and I go, that's not true. It's not true that the activists have given up. They're still out there. Cindy Sheehan is still against the war. Code Pink as well. They still protest and do their thing. So this radio show, which many people listen to and believe as if it's the gospel truth, they believe it hook, line, and sinker, and it's totally wrong. In fact, Cindy Sheehan, she's going to go and run against Obama as the vice president running mate with Roseanne Barr. I wish them luck. So, Pink is still out there, too. Then we've had Occupy. The Occupy movement. They've disappeared from where they were last year. They're in new places this year. But I hope they get bigger and louder as the election time occurs to bring the issues forward. And we'll see if they are tolerated or if the political parties that be squash them like a bug, like they did last year. Or maybe another party will glom onto them, like the Green Party might 
pick up the Occupy and say, we'll listen to you. What is your, what is your point? What is your beef? And then they have a platform. And hopefully, with enough media exposure, they can be made known and present other parties in this country. But I just thought I would let you know that the anti-war movement is not gone. You don't hear much either about Julian Assange or WikiLeaks either. Those things are still out there, but you've been distracted by the Olympics. Oop, shouldn't say those words. They might be protected content. So, this is in closing. Oh, I heard something that is also so rich. A conservative senator candidate from Wisconsin, Mark Newman. He says he is the candidate of conservative change. Now there is some cognitive dissonance of unseen proportions. Conservative change. Conservatives, the definition of it is not change. So how somebody can come out and push themselves as a conservative change candidate is an oxymoron of epic proportions. So I thought I would mention that. Before I close now, just keep your cognition aware and focused as we move towards the election year. Whatever it is, don't fo vote for Democrats or Republicans. You remember that thing that Citizens United? If you vote Democrat, if you vote Republican, you are saying that Citizens United is right. So, I would urge you, strongly urge you, to vote for third parties. So, I'll be seeing you at the polling booth later. Until later, we'll be seeing you.